Are you a hunter? Or are you a gatherer? And why this may matter with the today's topic of the screencast? Well, people say maybe it's the root of humanity which will influence your preferred strategy of data assessment and data storage. Until now. And you see what it may have to do with our topic which is presented in the radioactive helpline number six with the support of the European Lifelong Learning Program and the series of screencasts, Steps Toward a Podcast. It's now more details about preparing and sort your files at your desktop for a good podcasting experience and workflow. Hello. Yes, well, it's about preparing the files and it's about how to get all the tips out of all the professional people. And I looked a lot of uh, the professional people, how they managed all and avoid all the clutter at your desktop. Because in final, you will have a lot of raw material if you are continuing streaming and st broadcasting and you will have also a lot of final material including all this uh, broadcastings and uh, even if you have only the recordings if you think about having uh, 100 shows you have a lot of documents to share so i think this is not only dedicated to the topic of screen casting uh, and it's also dedicated in all areas of media production and media asset management. So I looked at the professionals, what they use, and I found a tiny tool which is uh, sold by Digital Rebellions, and uh, it's the name Post Taste. And this tiny, tiny little tune uh, simply makes your folder structure you predefined. So, for your orientation, we will have to use this file, which is one of the one of the podcast recordings uh, of a show of my students, and we will have uh, export files, and we will make a good structure, which is should be placed in the episode or show number seven. So, post haste simply allows you to make a set of templates. And here I have the template for project uh, audio and video mix production because sometimes we record also uh, the audio and from the selection we don't have the, the helpline uh, here because I use this also for the screencast orientation we have uh, Conrad E. Number Number Seven. And here you have the date automatically filled in. You have the editor and uh, the client is in this case, uh, Konrad Hai. I'm still a bit at last. There is a right. Production template I have. Okay, the project number here is a leading number and at the bottom you see in the preview every file here will be named by those things you entering here and you will end with a lot of long file names. So if I create now the project I will be asked where to place it 
and I will throw this folder inside and make a save. So simply what happened here is a folder structure I uh, started to create, which is simply uh, containing all the organizational aspects and all the final documents for the preparation, like the texts for show notes or like the texts and contributions in text form. Uh, we have the audio project files. And if you see here, they are all city or garage band project files uh, simply pre stored, uh, pre-folded. We have the raw files and here I made a structure of jingle, stingle, music or simply parts. Then we have the final episode and in case of video we have also uh, some video file containers here. Uh, in the final episode there is, there is something special related to our workflow. Because here I made a master export, which is simply the final find, which comes out of your uh, sound editing application in MP3 or M4A format. And uh, this, this file is simply uh, the one you will upload to Ophonic and you will earn a lot of continuing files uh, in all the formats you want, like the org format or the VM, uh, WMV, and uh, these are also these uh, exports. So the automated improvements uh, I added here because sometimes it happens if you are uh, checking your files uh, after they got out, uh, you, you, will, you will listen to the need of uh, some filtering and they are good level layers or uh, loudness filters uh, you can simply use as a service and throw your file in and will get a better result but this needs transcoding too so not losing those files there's an, an extra folder here so this is simply a folder structure and having this file I also have this episode arc archive and to make it simply I will look for one of the template files here like the time plan and copy the name paste it here and name it recording and this should go to the ports because it's not a raw material but the archived part so simply copy it here if you don't want to spend the money of those tools well the Big benefit is all files you can uh, get into the templates here. You simply add a file which is called, uh, here, here's a lot of presets done, uh, add a file, name it template in the structure and they will be renamed in your project structure which helps you a lot uh, to keep the consistency which is the most important part here is first develop your own workflow but the second is make use of it and uh, be strict in the consistence so uh, you simply if it's improved never get it touched and changed be consistent in in the names and you will be lost not lost by files uh, but if you if you don't want to spend money for this which i can fully understand there's another trick. Simply make one of our template structures we placed for you in our servers and zip it. And if you unzip it, 
each time you have a new episode, you will have a consistent structure you can rely and work on and you can make use of it. And if you think you will have to change it before you get in, in regular use, so simply create a structure, folder structure you won't like to have and uh, unzip it each time you want to use it. So, thanks for listening for this small episode and enjoy the uncluttered desktops. Bye-bye.